So we've got the, uh, the design table in front of us. We've got Mike Boston, our product designer for the Gradient in, with us as well. Um, I'm Paul. And we're going to just talk through the evolution of the Gradient to where we got to with the Gradient Mark III, which is our brand new boot. So let's go all the way back to 2009 and this, which is Gradient Mark I. Uh, this was a collaboration between ourselves and Merrill and Vibram, and it basically got us into the water shoe market in a serious way with a bona fide product. Fast forward to 2014, um, and we wanted to do sort of our, our, our own version and also evolve that product a little bit. Round about kind of 2020 time, we, we started getting feedback from the team, particularly from lead athlete, Bren Orton about the fact that these something could improve on this and what really was being looked for was better traction on wet rocks specifically and also more performance in terms of moving around and cushioning we, we kind of decided at that point we would do a new footwear so over the sort of the 10-year period things within footwear have changed quite a lot there are massive influences from the athletic industry now that influence footwear design. Technology has moved on quite a lot in that time, into specifically in midsoles and outsoles, and also it within the upper materials that you see on footwear. You're seeing a lot more athletic cushioning in there from running shoes, generally within midsoles. And then what has happened in those 10 years time is that less and less stitching is being used in footwear manufacturing now. So you're seeing like a no-so construction which basically makes the process of footwear design much easier and it makes the shoe a lot more comfortable and flexible and softer. And those influences, we then wanted to take that technology and move that into the Gradient 3.0 and bring it bang up to date for the current day. Vibram are a Italian company, speciality being a um, footwear outsole design. They are world leading experts, in my opinion, in outdoor traction grip within the outsole industry. They don't just work with any brand in terms of developing a bespoke outsole to them. So it's quite an honor to work with them to develop something that's unique to us. Really some of the things that were in that initial brief that we needed to do were to reduce the rake at the front so we got more forefoot contact. That was simply it. You, you get better traction in, on wet rock when you've just got more contact. It's like a car tire to all intents and purposes. We still need to be able to descend really well on wet surfaces going down. So we wanted more sort of downhill performance there. And then ascending, we also wanted to be able to kind of climb on the front to really dig in your feet. So next part is this major sort of evolution in terms of this design in terms of how modern it is and that's the midsole and that's that's really quite a critical thing to the performance so just talk us through really that mike working with vibram we came up with the idea that we wanted to do a dual density midsole and that was quite important in this development because what that allows us to do is that it gives you the cushioning when you heel strike when you come down on your heel but then moving into the forefoot we have a slightly firmer compound and then what that gives you is that it gives an element of control and gives you spring and propels you through the walking gait. So you get that cushion as you come down on the heel and then it just propels you nicely with control and stability. Part and parcel of that is that we've added in a TPU shank there as well into, into the product yeah. and that gives you that torsional rigidity. The last always comes first in footwear design. So that was, that was so again, we developed that unique palm. We wanted quite a sort of natural foot shape so that when you get that sort of natural feel in the foot, in the in the product, that your feet aren't, aren't too constricted. You've got enough room for your toes to wiggle around when you're in the boat. So it's a nice last, they've got a nice sort of comfortable um, fit to it. Building from the sort of the chassis and the platform, which is the midsole and the outsole from Vibram, it then gave me a very clear line to work from for the upper pattern. So we wanted to deliver something that was very clean, robust and functional so that you'll see from the forefoot of the, of the product is done in a welded no-so construction. And then the, the rear of it, you have the stitched rugged heel counter where you need that support for the ankle. And then moving up to there, you've got then the soft neoprene wraparound closure so you can keep all that debris and all that scree out and away from your foot. Did things like the insoles where we we have the, the standard insole in there and then we've got the, the fit pad so you can actually extend the volume or, or reduce it. So that allows you to adjust between different seasonality where you might be wearing a dry suit with sock in it or just barefoot. Bren 
has been an absolute cornerstone to this project. He he was the one that told us we needed to do a new model from the outset. Um, got a detailed sort of set of expectations from him. He he was he's he's always been really good at delivering product feedback as a as a pro paddler, um, exceptional product feedback, and done it in a really um, clever and and light-hearted way as well so it was always something you, you did enjoy reading and, and criticism came well he had a clear set of expectations of what he needed a new shoe to do and then was instrumental all the way through the process between myself mike the designer and bren we were the kind of the, the triangle that, that made this product come to life and you know really proud to work with both of those guys on this product we started working with bren on his signature version at the start of this year 2024 now tragically um Bren was lost to the river in May of this year um, and we, we had this design ready to go and it was always his dream to have a signature product with us at Palm um, as how he saw his relationship with brands. So um, we're, we're exceptionally honoured to bring this to market um, in his name. It's his look, it's his aesthetic, it's got his uh, signature waterfall graphic on it um, and that will be a product that's available. So. Yeah, we're humbled to do that for Bren, uh, bring this to market. It's got all the performance he wanted. It's also got the coolness that he wanted and the look. So, you know, this is the Bren version and um, much love to him for this one.